What news are they? This Bajan works for the Royal African Company. Tell him what you told me. I haven't seen the princess for eight weeks or more. Meaning she may soon be back. What else? I thought this buck belonged to the other man who was asking about the princess this morning. So I told him that... What other men? Haughty sailor in plain rags, and a gent with a scar just here. Where have they got to? Staying just round the corner, they said. I grow tired of chasing these fantasies of yours, Edward. As does the crew. Hang in there, man. We're getting close. Almost feels certain. He is a pirate convicted. Down. Let's get back to New York. <laughs> it's not worth my skin. Run! Time to get back to Monty. <laughs> you! Shit! Alarm! Alarm! Not and beyond that time. Ugh!
Oh. Get back here! He thinks he can get away! Come back, you weakling coward! He thinks he can get away! We've lost the filthy crack. Hey, stop! there. Have you alerted the men? We're short on time. Aye. There'll be two soldiers waiting for us at the crossroads. Very good. If you don't mind me asking, sir, what's the meaning behind these blood samples we're taking? Torres tells me that blood is required for the observatory to properly function. How do you mean, sir? If one wishes to use the observatory to, say, spy on King George, then one would require a drop of the King's blood to do so. In other words, a small sample of blood gives us access to a man's everyday life. Does Torres mean to spy on me, then? For I've just given him a sample of my blood. As have I, Captain Hornigold, as will all Templars. It is a measure of insurance. And trust, I reckon. Yes, but fear not. Torres has shipped our samples to a temple. Aye, sir. I suppose it's a small price to pay for what the Templars have given me in return. Precisely. 
Governor, when you hunted pirates in Madagascar, what methods worked best? I believe it was my charisma that persuaded them. Violence and threats should always be a last resort. In Madagascar, I offered those pirates a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless but free men, or be hanged by the neck until dead. Just as you did in Nassau. Precisely. A pity Commodore Chamberlain did not live to see my thorough success. It's not like you to glow, Rogers. We all deserve a moment, don't we? Fresh cream on Sunday. Now. Grandmaster, welcome. Buenas noches. What have we learned? The princess was taken by pirates six weeks ago. And so far as we know, the sage Roberts was still aboard. Very good. It is something. And what measures are we taking to recover the princess from these pirates? Captain Hornigold has dispatched some of his best men to ensure the sage's capture. Hmm. What of the sage's present location? Do we know? Africa, Your Excellency. Africa? By God. The winds do not favor that. Room. I concur, Grandmaster. I should have sailed there myself. One of my slave galleys would be more than capable of making a swift journey. Slave galley? Captain, I asked you to digest yourself of that seeking situation. I fail to see the difference between enslaving some men and all men. Our aim is to steer the entire course of civilization, is it not? A body enslaved inspires the mind to revolt. But, enslave a man's mind, and his body will follow on. Naturally. Efficiently. A fair point, Grandmaster.
Uh, remind me, where in Africa are we looking? Principe, sir, a small island. We've sent two of our best men, Burgess and Cochrane. Privateers with fast ships and firm hearts. Edward Kenway! Imagine my surprise at seeing your jackdaw anchored there. Have you heard all you came to hear? Will you now rescue the sage from our clutching hands? A pox on you, traitor! You sold us downriver. Because I found a better path. The Templars know order, discipline, structure. But you never could fathom these subtleties. Goodbye, old friend. You were a soldier once, when you fought for something real. Something beyond yourself. Yeah! <laughs> 